Good morning, church. Welcome to KKE Sunday service. Let us now call each other to worship. Father, we gather in your house today, worshiping you with songs of praise. We stand in all of your grace, setting our feet in your ways. Come, Holy Spirit, breathe within us, renewing our thoughts and hearts, equipping us to do your will.
of God. Now let us come in one voice to pray for our nation, to pray for our state, to pray for our church, our families and ourselves. Lord God Almighty, we praise you. Your word is right and true. You are faithful in all that you do. You love righteousness and justice. The earth is full of your unfailing love. May the earth fear you and the people revere you. For you spoke and the world came to be. You commanded and it stood firm. You foiled the plans of the nations. You thwart the purposes of the peoples. But your plans stand firm forever. The purposes of your heart through all generations. How great you are, Lord. Everlasting God, we thank you that you are God who makes everything beautiful in its time. Though we are in the midst of this pandemic and we face many uncertainties, may you enable us to see that everything in the world can be gone, yet you are eternal. Teach us to seek first your kingdom and your righteousness and all other things will be provided for us. Lord Jesus, bless our praise kids, Eclectos youth and the brigade's online programs and Zoom meetings. Let it be effective in engaging the young people. We pray that the young people will grow in their faith and their relationship with Jesus. Holy Spirit, we pray for the candidates who are attending the baptism classes. May you enlighten the hearts of their eyes that they may understand and know you deeper. We pray that they encounter you and be deeply rooted in you. Gracious God, we thank you for all the volunteers who are involved in our community services in PPEs and food aid. May you strengthen them and protect them. We pray that the little that we do, we do it with Christ's love. May the message of love within our hearts flow through our lives. Lord, we pray that the budget 2021 will be able to help the poor and the needy in our nation. We ask that you grant our government wisdom so that all allocations will be distributed fairly. May our economic situation be strengthened to provide more job opportunities in the year ahead. We thank you that you are our help, the Lord who sustains us. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. Let's recite our purpose statement together. We choose to be in a process where we follow Jesus Christ and obey His commands, hence influencing others to do the same. Next off, it's an announcement for this week. Our first announcement, it's the daily noon prayer meeting. In the Hebrews 4.16, it says, Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. So let's come together and join the 1pm noon prayer. You may obtain the link 
from your respective CGL or contact KKE helpline. The next announcement is the KKE drive through Our KKE drive through is now available every Friday at 10am to 12pm. Feel free to make your way to drop off your tithes and offerings. Our next announcement is Praise Kids. We are calling all children. Come let's join Auntie Fuiken and Auntie Olivia for part 2 of Holy Spirit Breathe Into Me on the 21st of November via Praise Kid Facebook. The next announcement is the KKE Helpline. If you are in need of any assistance, WhatsApp or call us at 016-237-4889. Last but not least is of course our Facebook, Instagram and YouTube channel. Do check out our Facebook and Instagram for the latest updates about our church activities and community works. For all the other information, please refer to our e-bulletin. Now, it's time for the tithes and offering. Throughout the offertory song, you can transfer or boost your tithes and offering via the bank account or QR code as shown on the screen. Now, let's prepare our heart for the tithes and offering. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you for your provision and we recognize that all good things comes from you. We want to bring back a portion of what you have blessed us with into the storehouse of God and we ask that God you use this offering to reach out to the people beyond our church and help those who are in need. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
Good morning, everyone. 各位早上好。Good morning, Pastor Abby. 真传道早上好。Let us commit this time unto the Lord. 我们一起祷告。Gracious and loving God, as we gather before you, may your presence be with us, and we pray for your Holy Spirit to move in the midst of us. Fill us with your power and wisdom to understand your word. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. This morning. We are continue the series of Acts. 今天早上我们一起继续来看使徒行传 Since young, I have always heard people saying that those who do good things will surely go to heavens. 我从小就听说过，做好人呢，一定能够上天堂 This include those who are good and have distinguished themselves by their good work. 这包括那些呃没有做坏事的，而且是常常做慈善的人。Perhaps you might know someone who is not a Christian, but he is doing so much good to others. 可能你也听过有一些啊还没有信啊主耶稣的这些非基督徒，他们也是做了很多的好事。Being so kind and considerate, always putting others before himself, does he really need to believe in Christ in order to be saved and go to heaven? 他们已经是为人做了很多的事好事情，而且非常的良善又贴心，总是优先考虑到别人的需要。那这些的人是不是真的啊、呃、需要信耶稣才能够得到上天堂呢 ？To find the answer, let us look at today topic the master plan. 我们要找出这个的原因呢，让我们一起来探讨今天的主题，有关神的这个大蓝图。Following God's master plan, which is the Great Commissions. 按照神计划的这个大使使命大蓝图来看 ，The gospel had processed from Jerusalem to Judea and Samaria. 福音是从耶路撒冷传到呃，发展到犹太和撒玛利亚。But it is hard to reach the end of the world. 但是它却很难达到地极。This was the most difficult part of the master plan due to the many geographical, social. Political and cultural barriers that stood in the way. From this big map, we see the most difficult part is due to the geographical barriers and social, political, and cultural barriers that stood in the way. Today's scripture, Acts 10, verse 23 to chapter 11, verse 18, is about an incident related to Cornelius and the apostle Peter. 今天的啊，使徒行传所要分享的这个经文是十章二十三到十一章十八节，讲到有关于哥尼流和彼得之间的那种的关系。It was truly a very significant event that enabled the gospel to reach the end of the earth. 这是一个非常重要的一件事情。他们如果这使福音怎么样把把它传到去啊地极。Which one again proved that there is nothing too hard for God? This also proves that God is not hard for human beings. From the illustrated event, we can see that everyone needs to believe in Christ for salvation. From this text, we can see that everyone needs to believe in Christ for salvation. Everyone needs to believe in Christ for salvation. Everyone needs to believe in Christ for salvation. According to the scripture, Corinius was a good man. 根据圣经里面的记载，哥尼流是一个好人。He was a Roman centurion. His servant described him as a righteous, God-fearing man, and is respected by all the Jewish people. 在圣经里面记载，他们形容他是一个正直的人，是一个尊敬神的人，而且是受到犹太人的啊尊敬。Despite his great responsibility, Corinius also found time to be a helpful influence on his family, his servant, and his soldiers. 除了他是一个尽职的人呢，哥林流也是一个以身作则、善于帮助别人，甚至是影响他的家的整个的族群的人。Here we are told that he a fear God with all his house, referring to his family member and household servant. 在这里记载说，他是一个。全家敬畏神的人，他指他的家里所有上上下下的每一个人。His good influence even extend to his relatives and friends, as they were all waiting eagerly with him for God's messenger to come. 他的生活见证呢，甚至影响到他的亲朋戚友，因为他们都和他一起热切地等待神的使者来到。In verse twenty-four, 
and Corinne expecting them and had called together his relatives and close friends. 在二十四节二十四节这里看到，哥尼流已经请了他的亲朋戚友在等候他们。Someone may have said, "Such a man surely deserve uh have a place in heaven." 可能有人会说，这样的人是配得上天堂的。But the truth is so clearly revealed in this passage. 但是在这个经文里面很清楚地说 ，that despite all his good work, Cornelius still need to save in order to have eternal life in heaven. 尽管哥林流做了那么多的好事，他仍然需要啊的救才能够上天堂。And the only way would he could be saved was through the gospel. 唯有得救的唯一的一个途径，能够让他借着福音上天堂。This can be seen in Acts 11, verse 13 to 14, where an angel speak to Cornelius. 在这里我们可以看到十一使徒行传十一章十三十四节里面，天使对哥尼流说 ，Send to Joppa for Simon, who is called Peter. He will bring you a message through which you and all your household will be safe. 你打发。人往约帕去，请那称呼彼得的西门来，他有话告诉你，可以叫你和你全家的得救。This means that despite all the good work he had done, Cornelius will still not save. 这就是说，尽管哥尼流做了很多很多的好事，但是他还是不能够得救。The angel did not say to him. Congratulations, Cornelius! You are such a good man, and you have done so well. God is so pleased with you that you that He wants to reward you with eternal life. 天使并没有对哥尼流说：“恭喜你，哥尼流，你真是一个好人，你做的是真好。上帝对你非常的满意，他要用天上的荣耀来赏赐给你。” Instead, the angel gave him an instruction from God. 其实天使却给了他一个从神来的一个指示。This is mentioned in an incident that Cornelius told Peter about it. 好，在这里说到哥林流告诉彼得有关于神的指示。In verse thirty to thirty three, three days ago I was in my house praying at this hour, and three in the afternoon, suddenly a man in shining clothes stood before me and said, Cornelius. God has heard your prayer and remembered your gift to the poor. Send to Joppa for Simon, who is called Peter. He is a guest in the home of Simon the Tanner, who lived by the sea. So I sent for you immediately, and it was good of you to come. Now we are all here in the presence of God to listen to everything that God has commanded you to tell us. 在三十节到三十三节这样记载说，哥尼流说，前四天这个时候，我在家中守着出生的祷告，忽然有一个人穿着光明的衣裳，站在我面前说：“哥尼流，你的祷告已经垂听，你的足迹达到神面前以蒙纪念了。你当打发人往约帕去，请那称呼彼得的西门来，他住在海边一个小皮匠西门的家里。”所以我立时打发人去请你，你来了很好。现今我们都在神面前，要听主所吩咐你的一切话。No matter how good Cornelius was, he was a sinner. The fact is that said in Ecclesiastes 7 verse 20, we say, Indeed, there is no one on earth who is righteous, no one who does what is right and never sin. 无论哥尼流做了多么的好的事情，但是他还是一个罪人，而且在《传道书》七章二十节这样说：“时常行善而不犯罪的一人，世上实在是没有。” Many people mistakenly think that God must surely be pleased with all good works they have done. 许多的人很误解了，他们以为他们所做的一切的善事，神一定会很高兴。Do little, they know that it is not enough to please God. 但是他们却是不知道要讨神的喜悦，这样是不够的。The apostle Paul wrote about this in Romans ten verse three. Since they did not know the righteous of God and sought to establish their own, they did not submit to God's righteousness. 
。使徒保罗在罗马书十章第三节这样写说：“因为不知道神的意，想要立自己的意，就不服从神的意了。”Good work can never save any sinner. 我们知道行善是永远不能够让啊、呃、人得救。And since all men are sinner, all men may stand condemned before God. 既然所有的人都是罪人，所以所有的人都会在神的面前都被定罪。Perhaps you may wonder why God has set such an impossible standard for us to reach. 也许你会在想，为什么上帝要定了这么一个啊、呃、的标准，而每一个人都不能够达到的呢？ Why will God not lower His standard and make it a little easier for us to have eternal life in heaven? Why does God not lower His standard and make it a little easier for us to have eternal life in heaven? Why does God not lower His standard and make it a little easier for us to have eternal life in heaven? Why does God not lower His standard and make it a little easier for us to have eternal life in heaven? Why does God not lower His standard and make it a little easier for us to have eternal life in heaven? Why does God not lower His standard? And that means to be sinless. 这样我们就无罪了。By His very nature, God cannot tolerate any sin in His sight. 按照神的本性呢，神是不能够容忍任何的罪的。For Cornelius, he knew that his religious devotion was not sufficient to save him. 对哥尼流来说呢，他知道他所效忠的这个宗教是不能够让他得救。Many religious people today are satisfied. With their character and good work, will get them to heaven. Today, many people think that their religious practices can be used by their good work and good actions to get them to heaven. And they have no concept either of their own sin or for God's grace. But they have no concept of their own sin or for God's grace. But they have no concept either of their own sin or for God's grace. In his prayer, Corinius was asking God to show him the way of salvation. 在哥尼流的祷告中呢，他求神给他一个明确的指示，这个救恩的道路。When the angel appeared to him and told him, so Corinius quickly sent out his most trusted man to fetch Peter from Joppa so that he could hear the gospel. 当天使向他显现的时候，他迅速的派出他最最信任的人去约帕，约帕啊迎接彼得，好使他能够听到福音。Then, when Peter came, Corinius was able to learn from him all that he needed to know about Christ in order to be saved. So, when Peter came, Peter was able to learn from him all that he needed to know about Christ in order to be saved. So, when Peter came, Peter was able to learn from him all that he needed to know about Christ in order to be saved. So, when Peter came, Peter was able to learn from him all that he needed to know about Christ in order to be saved. So, when Peter came, Peter was able to learn from him all that he needed to know about Christ in order to be saved. 让我们一起来看《使徒行传》第十章三十六到四十三节，彼得如何诉说有关于基督的真理。You know the message God sent to people of Israel, announcing the good news of peace through Jesus Christ, who is Lord of all. You know what has happened throughout the province of Judea, beginning in Galilee, after the baptism that John preached. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with His Holy Spirit and power, and how He went around doing good and healing all who were under the power of the devil, because God was with Him. We are witnesses of everything He did in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They killed Him by hanging Him on a cross, but God raised Him from the dead, and on the third day, and caused Him to be seen. He was not seen by all the people, but by witnesses whom God had already chosen, by us who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commanded us to preach to the people and to testify that he is the one whom God appointed as judge of the living and the dead. All the prophets testified about him that everyone who believed in him received forgiveness of sin through his name. Here, Peter concludes the gospel with the free offer of Christ to save sinners. 在这里，彼得以基督这个免提提供这免费的救恩给罪人，以致能够得到这个福音作为结束。I want to emphasize the phrase "everyone who believes in Him." 我在这里特别要强调，就是呃，每一个信他的人。Does it sound familiar to you? 你听到这一句话是不是很熟悉呢？ 
Where have you seen the phrase in which part of the Bible? 你曾经在圣经里面哪一段的经文听过这样的一句话呢？ Yes, in John three sixteen, 就是在约翰福音第三章十六节 For God so loved the world that He gave His only, the one and only Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. 神爱世人，甚至将他的独生子赐给他们，叫一切信他的不至灭亡，反得永生。What a great offer of salvation to sinner to is found in this word. 这一句话是给我们罪人的救赎是多么大的一个恩典啊 ！When Cornelius and all his family and friends heard this gospel message， 当哥尼流和他的全家人和和他的朋友听到这个福音的时候 ，They began to believe in Christ who saved them from their sin。他们就啊、呃、相信耶稣基督救他们脱离罪恶了。This is amazingly indicated by what happened。这是非常的一个的大的恩典。Next in Acts ten forty four. 接下来我们来看《使徒行传》十章四十四节。While Peter was still preaching this word, the Holy Spirit came on all who heard the message. Peter 还说在说话的时候，圣灵怎么样降在他所听的人身上 ？The Holy Spirit is given as a sign and seal of salvation. 圣灵是作为救赎的标记和印记。We notice that because Peter obeyed the Lord, 我们知道彼得是顺服上帝。God sent the wind of the Spirit to the Gentiles and experienced great joy and peace. 上帝就差圣灵到外邦人的当中。In contrast, when compared with Jonah, 相反的与约拿相比 ，because he disobeyed God, 因为他不顺服神。The Lord sent a storm that caused fear among the Gentile sailors. 上帝就差了这个啊暴风来到他们的当中，使到外邦水手也非常的害怕。Dear brothers and sisters, 亲爱的弟兄姐妹 ，Have you truly believed in Jesus Christ alone for your salvation? 你是否真的是接受耶稣为你的救主呢 ？Have you personally received Jesus Christ into your heart as your Savior and Lord? 你是否亲自的接受耶稣基督为你个人的救主呢 ？Or are you still hoping that your own good work can save you？ 还是你仍然希望靠着自己的行为而去得救呢 ？Ephesians two eight to nine say, "For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and that is not from yourself; it is the gift of God, not by work, so that no one can boast." 以父所书二章第八、第九节这样说：“你们的就是本乎恩，也因着信。这并不是出于自己，乃是神所赐的；也不是出于行为，免得有人自夸。” You have just seen that Cornelius received salvation as a gift from God. 我们刚刚看到哥尼流啊，得到这个救赎是上帝所给的礼物。He was saved not by work, but through faith in Jesus Christ alone. 他的就不是因着行为，而是单单是凭着信靠耶稣基督。If you are not saved yet, God wants you to trust in Him alone for salvation from sins and eternal death. 如果你还没有得救的话，上帝要你单单的信靠他，从罪和永死中能够得到这个救赎。In this passage, we see how two unlikely individuals who had never met each Uh, others before they were amazing brought together. 在这一段的经文里面，我们看到他们两个人呢，从一个未从未见过面的一个人，怎么样的很惊奇的，能够却去、呃、走在一起。If Peter and Cornelius were less on their own, they would never have met or even talked with each others. 如果彼得和哥林流他们都按着自己的行为，这都做事的话，他们就永远都不会在一起的相遇，甚至也不会有交谈的这个机会了。Because one was Roman centurion and the other was a Jew's apostle, and they were forty-eight km apart from each other. 因为一个是罗马的啊、呃、白夫长，另外一个是犹太的使徒，他们之间是相隔四十八公里。And yet, through the wonderful working of God. Their plans converge and brought about the blessed encounter. 但是借着上帝这很奇妙的安排的话呢，让他们能够汇合在一起，也带来了一个的祝福。The divine connection brings us to the other important lesson that we can learn from these accounts. 
这种神圣的连续里面，使我们想到了，我们可以从字记载中学到一个很重要的一个的教训。The second point is the gospel of Christ brings brings sinner to salvation. 第二点就是基督的福音使罪人得救赎。The gospel of Christ brings sinners to salvation. 基督的福音能够使罪人得救赎。From this, we understand that God value inward matter more than outward appearance. 在这里，我们明白到上帝看重内心过于我们的外在表现。When Cornelius pray, God answer his prayer. 当哥尼流祷告的时候呢，上帝听从他的祷告。He direct Cornelius through an angel to face Peter to Caesarea. 他透过天使能够指示哥尼流去迎接这个彼得在凯撒利亚。Corinius obey God and act immediately. Corinius 顺服神就立刻的行动 This show how earnest and sincere Corinius was in seeking after God. 这里我们可以看到哥尼流是非常的渴慕寻求神，而且很认真的、很真诚的 His prayer was answered four days later when Peter arrived at Caesarea and brought the gospel of Christ to him and his family. 他祷告后呢，四天，彼得就从这个的凯撒利亚能够来到他们的家，把福音带给他们全家的人。They believed in Jesus and were gloriously saved, and they were baptized immediately. 他们相信了主耶稣，呃呃，荣耀的的能够很荣光的得救，他们立刻的受了洗了。But God had other plans for Peter. 但彼得对。但上帝对彼得却有另外一个的安排。It was at that time Corinius sent his men to fetch him from Joppa. 当时哥尼流派人去啊啊约帕接他的时候 ，When they reached the city, Peter was praying on the flat rooftop of the house. 当他们到达城中的时候呢，彼得还正在屋顶的天台上祷告。Under normal circumstances, no Jew would ever accept any invitation to go to a Gentile's house. 在正常的情况之下呢，其实是犹太人和外邦人是没有接触、没有受邀到他们的家的。Hence, Peter would most properly refuse to go with this man to the house of Cornelius. 因此，彼得很可能会拒绝和这些人一起到他哥尼流的家。But just before they arrived, God gave Peter a vision on the rooftop. 但他们抵达的时候呢，神就在那个屋顶上给彼得一个意象。In Acts eleven five to twelve, Peter said, 在使徒行传十一章五至十二节这样说 ，I was in the city of Joppa praying, and a trance I saw a vision. I saw something like a large ship being laid down from heaven by its four corners, and it came down to where I was. I looked into it and saw four rooted, footed animals of the earth, wild beasts, reptiles. And birds. Then I heard a voice telling me, "Get up, Peter! Kill and eat." I replied, "Surely not, Lord. Nothing impure or unclean has ever entered my mouth." The voice spoke from heaven a second time, "Do not call anything impure that God has made clean." This happened three times, and then it was all put up to heavens again. Right then. Three men who had been sent to me from Caesarea stopped at the house where I was staying. The spirit told me to have no hesitation about going、uh, with them. These six brothers also went with me, and we entered the man's house. This vision changed Peter's attitude towards Gentile drastically. This vision radically changed Peter's attitude towards Gentile drastically. And God brought the man of Cornelius to the house at the right time. 神就在这个时候刚刚好，就是啊，把哥尼流带到他们的面前。At the right moment, bitter visions ended. 因为如此，他们就迎接他。Because of that, Peter welcomed them, let them stay overnight, and then willingly went to a Caesarea with them the next morning. 因着这样的缘故呢，彼得呢就跟他们转过夜。Everything was time to happen with God's amazing clockwork precisions. 神所所做的每一切的都是刚刚好的是啊，恰恰是啊，合适的。Uh, 
the way that God's work to bring the gospel to Corinthians through Peter is absolutely marvelous. 神的作为透过彼得将福音带给哥尼流是多么的奇妙。And God continue to do the same work today. 今天神也继续做同样的工作。He continued to send the gospel of Christ to bring people in every place to salvation. He continued to send the gospel of Christ to bring people in every place to salvation. So, for the final point, we say that God showed no favoritism in relation to salvation. 最后一点，神对这个救恩是不偏待人的。God showed no favoritism in relation to salvation. 神对于救恩是不偏待人的。The truth is found in verse thirty-four to thirty-six, thirty-five. 在三十四和三十五节这样说。Then Peter began to speak. I now realize how true it is that God does not show favoritism, but accept from every nation the one who fear Him and does what is right. Peter 就开口说，我真看出神是偏不偏待人。原来各国中那敬畏主行义的人都为主所喜悦。Peter mentioned God show no favoritism to of person because God does not choose His people from one nation only, which is Israel. Peter 得到上上帝对人没有偏待任何人，因为神不是单单只拣选以色列人为他的子民，而是拣选就是拯救世上所有的人。Yes, He chose to save people from all nations of the earth. 是的，他拣选拯救世上所有的人。In our passage, Peter not only entertain enter into the house of a Gentile family. 在经文中，彼得不只是进入一个外邦人的家 ，but stay in their house for several days after they were saved. 而且在他们得救以后呢，还在他们家里住了几天。Therefore, it is not surprising for the Jewish believer to confront Peter when he returned to Jerusalem from the house of Cornelius. 所以，当彼得从哥尼流家回到耶路撒冷的时候呢，犹太人信徒要对彼得这些质疑呢是不足为奇的。In Acts eleven two to three tell us, so when Peter went up to Jerusalem, the circumcised believers criticized him and said, "You went into the house of uncircumcised men and ate with them." 在使徒行传十一章二至三节这样说。既至彼得上耶路撒冷，那些奉格里的门徒和他争辩说：“你进入未受格里之人的家，和他一同吃饭了。”To the Jews, there is only one possible way for a Gentile to be accepted as a believer. 对犹太人来说呢，外邦人要被接受为信徒，只有一个方法。He must first become a Jew. This was not easy. 他必须要成为犹太人，但这不是容易了。It involves a long process, which includes circumcision for the males. 因为他们涉及到一个很漫长的一个,个过程，其中包括男性要受隔离 ，as well as observing the many legalistic regulations about food. 而且还要遵守很多的礼仪，包括他们要呃哪一些的食物该吃和不该吃 ，Sabbath keeping and ritual purity. 守安息日，还有仪式纯洁的这些的等等的规条。Before all this happened in Acts chapter ten， 在啊《使徒行传》十章啊发生之前，这一切的事情发生之前 ，The Apostle Peter himself had the very same attitude toward Gentile as of the other Jews。使徒彼得也是。啊，对外邦人的这些态度跟犹太人的态度是一样的。He testified about this when he came to the house of Cornelius. 在二十八节说到他来到哥尼流的家的时候，他为这事做见证。He said to them, "You are well aware that it is against our law for a Jew to associate with or visit a Gentile, but God has shown me that I should not call anyone impure or unclean." 就对他们说：“你们知道犹太人和别国的亲的人亲近来往，本是不合理的。但神已经指示我，无论什么人都不可以作数，而不洁净的。” Peter react in the same way as any law-abiding Jews would in the vision he received while praying on the rooftop in Joppa. 彼得在约帕的屋顶上祷告时收到的这个意象，其反应。与任何守法法律的犹太人是一样的。He said, "Surely not, God, Lord. 
nothing impure or unclean had ever entered my mouth. 他说：“主啊，这不不可能的，凡属物不洁净的物，从来没有入过我的口。” But the Lord replied to him, "Was do not call anything impure that God has made clean." This happened three times, and then it was pulled up to heavens again. That 有声音从天上说，神洁净的你不可以当作属物。第这样一连三次就都收回天上去了。Saint Corinius' request came immediately after Peter's vision. It is a sign to Peter that he had to stop restricting his social contact with the Gentiles. 由于哥尼流的请求是在彼得的意向之后立即提出来的，这对彼得来说是一个信号。然后呢，表明他必须除去他。错误的思想法，拒绝外邦人的之间的这个接触。If he continued to regard this as impure and unclean, he would be rebelling against God's decree and denying the work which the work which God has accomplished through Christ. 如果彼得继续的啊、呃、看他们为不洁和不干净的人呢，他就会违背上帝的这个法律。Which is to bring peace between the Jews and the Gentiles. 这也就是啊， uh, 不能够把这个平安带给啊、uh, 有外邦人了。In verse twenty-five and ten twenty-six, we can see the blessed moment when they came together. 我们在二十五、二十六节，我们可以看到他们聚在一起的时候，怎么样带来的这个祝福。Hence, here comes Peter with some Jews from Joppa, and there comes the Gentile centurion welcoming the Jews into his house. Peter 带着一些约伯的。来的犹太人，外邦人百夫长也来了，迎接犹太人进他的家。As Peter entered the house, Cornelius met him and fell at his feet in reverence. But Peter made him get up. Stand up, he said. I am only a man myself. Peter 一进去，哥林流就迎接他，俯伏在他的面，他的脚前。然后彼得马上说：“起来，我也是人。” What a powerful picture of peace this is. 我们看到这幅图画，和平的图画是多么的美好。After so many centuries of hostile animosity, we see a Gentile paying homage to a Jew. 我们看到他们在过去的自自己的经历，他们之间的那种的仇恨，但是现在看到一个外邦人向一个犹太人致敬。And after so many centuries of looking down. On the Gentile, we see a Jew lifting up a Gentile to stand with him as a fellow man. 在这么多世纪看不起外邦人的这些的犹太人，他们看再次能够看到一个犹太人把另外一个的外邦人再次的站立起来，更甚至以让他成为他的同胞站在一起。This wonderful peace has been brought by the Lord Jesus, who is the Prince of Peace. 这复合的这些的啊，美好的这复合是由主耶稣所给予他们的，因为主耶稣是和平之主。Jesus has demolished the wall that separate the Jews from the Gentiles. 我们看到主耶稣拆毁了、拆毁了这个犹太人和外邦人之间的仇恨的这些的墙城墙。This is described by Paul speaking in the Gentile believer in Ephesians two thirteen to fourteen. 这在保罗啊， uh, 在以弗所书二章十三十四节这样对外邦信徒描述。But now in Christ Jesus, you who once were far away have been brought near to by the blood of Christ, for He Himself is our peace, who has made the two group one and has destroyed the barrel, the dividing wall of hostilities. 以父所说二章十三节这样说：“你们从前远离神的人，如今借在基督耶稣里，靠着他的血已经得亲近了。因他使我们和睦，将两下合而为一，拆毁了中间断呃各断的墙。” Now come for the application. 我们如何的应用呢 ？Today God continue to open the hearts of sinner to seek after Him. 今天我们的神继续的寻找世上灵魂的人。He answer their prayer. He 听他们的祷告 And he prepare the way for the gospel to reach them. He 为他们预备了这个福音的道路 But according to our Lord's master plan, 按照我们神的这个的大蓝图 the one who are to bring the gospel to sinner are not angels but people. 
我们要把福音传给人，并不是借着天使，乃是借着人。It was the disciple who were told，就好像门徒说，你you will be witness in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth。你们要在耶路撒冷、犹太全地和撒玛利亚，直到地极，做我的见证。God's master plan is to use believer like you and me. As his witnesses,我们看到神这个的计划大蓝图里面是使用了你和我这样的信徒作为他的见证人。His means of communicating the gospel message,我们成为他福音的管道。If God is really working through our circumstances,如果神真的是借着我们。to bring the gospel to people, then let us always look out for the opportunity God provides. Who knows that if He may bring us into contact with someone like Cornelius? So let us always be ready for the divine connection to share the gospel anytime. 所以让我们时刻的准备我们自己迎接神，让我们能够把福音传扬出去。As we told in First Peter three verse fifteen, always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have, but do this with gentleness and respect. 就像彼得。前书三章十五节告诉我们，只要心里尊主基督为圣，有人问你们心中盼望的缘由，就要常做准备，以温柔敬畏的心回答个人。May the Lord help us all in becoming His faithful witnesses。让上帝来帮助我们成为他忠心的仆人。Thank you. All glory be God. 我们谢谢，我们将荣耀归给神。Amen. Let us pray. 我们一起祷告。Thank you, God, for sending Jesus to be our Savior. Thank you very much for the cost you have paid for us to remind us of your great love and your great commission. May the Holy Spirit grant us boldness to become faithful witnesses for you. In Jesus' most precious name we pray. Amen. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face shine upon you, be ever gracious to you. 
the Lord lift up His countenance, turn His face towards you and give you shalom. Amen. Thank you everyone for joining our online service today. We wish to see you again next week and do follow us on our Facebook, Instagram and YouTube channel at BCCMKK English. God bless you. Take care and shalom.